I back tonight with the hog, but also to answer a question. And yeah. let's talk about it. Uh, I had someone ask me, I think last night, where do I get my glasses? Were they readers? Or are they prescription? I think they were looking for readers. Mine are actually uh, progressive. I just really need readers, but I'm always looking down at something and it's annoying. I lose glasses, so I just buy them to keep them on my face. But most of the time I get them from Goggles for You. And I noticed today they uh, have a coupon for 50% off. So everything's half off. And then another 20% if you, I think if you have to buy prescription lenses like I do. Normally on my email, I get um, coupons for 70, 71. I think the last time 74% off the total total amount. So hardly ever do I give more than 30 something dollars for a pair of uh, progressive. But that's uh, Goggles for You. It says it's been in business for 16 years. I'm not affiliated. <laughs> I better say that. I'm not affiliated. But I've been buying glasses online for uh, years and years. I used to do try-on with a lot of them. But, uh, excuse me, I've been ordering them so long. I know just about what I like and don't like. So... Very seldom do I get it wrong. Sometimes, but very seldom. But, we're back with another what did I buy for $2 a piece haul from uh, Lily's. Is it Lily's? Discount? I hope I got it right. My brain, it's late in the evening. Um, uh, I've been in the middle of a lot of different things, and I thought, I need to get this video done. I've already got everything else kind of sorted out, and some of it's already been claimed. But for $2, I bought all these, they call them, silly shaped rubber bands. Super stretchy. Says a six pack. So each of my little girls will get a pack, and then the rest of them I'll gift out. But it has, I think, like all kinds of different shapes. It looks like even a unicorn, maybe a doggy, a cat, a star. But it looks like more than six packs in here, to be honest with you. It says, let me see here. Oh, each pack has six. Each pack has six. And I don't know how many packs are in here. So there's a good amount good amount. I'm just looking at this stuff the same way you are. I haven't seen it in a long time, so I'm finding out. And if you hear anything, I'm waiting on my husband. He's supposed to call me if he needs me for anything, so um, I've got my phone in here. Normally, other than yesterday, I don't do that, but my boys are out running the road. I'll save that a little later. This box uh, I thought looked kind of damaged, and it may be right here a little bit, but it actually is supposed to have this on it. But it's Netflix Ridley Jones, and it says try me. What does she do? Where did I turn her? I may have to turn it off. I may get copyrighted. Hang on. I know who that's going to, and that's just too cute. If I knew that she sang when I got her, I don't remember that either. Uh, this was actually regular twenty one ninety nine. I meant to tell you that. And I don't know how much these were at one time. But like I said, I know they well more than one of them fell out. It kind of ripped. I guess 
Yeah, there's not a price on these, but say at the Dollar Tree, that'd be a dollar and a quarter. And I say there's probably at least a dozen in here. Trivia game. Trivia. Pursuit. The 1990s. I don't think I've ever played Trivial Pursuit, but I know it would be fun. I've heard of it. I was looking to see what the price is. Regular price. I looked it up my line back when I got it. It was quite expensive, but $2. The 10 has a den or two in it, and I need to wipe it off. It's been in storage. I better not open it. I better not open it. But Trivia Pursuit, it's the 90s. And along with that, I showed you a Monopoly game uh, yesterday, and it was open. And I had, you know, make sure all the parts were still there. But this one's actually closed. At one time, it was $15. But regular, $24.99 for $2. Monopoly. Miss Monopoly. I learned, uh, Michelle's in her four, early 40s now, but I learned when she was little... A lot of the best things to get kids for Christmas was things that they could be creative with or play with. Um, we called it the goodie bag. And she told me that was the bestest Christmas gift she ever got. It was crayons and uh, coloring books and paper and Play-Doh. You name it, it was in that bag. And she carried it everywhere with her. And she still remembers it. I'll, even now, so, um, doesn't take a lot, really, to make kids happy, it's mainly thinking about them, it's, um, like in Michelle's case, and my, my kids' case now, it's trying to do things where they're a little more creative, uh, so much electronics now, and I agree, we need to stop and maybe play a game or two, um, but this is a pixelator. It includes 10 long distant darts and clips for ages 6 and up. Air Warriors. And I don't know if it's got a price on it or not. At one time it was $15. Maybe that was the regular price. $2. And hopefully... In the next little bit, I'll make it back to, it's Lens. Lens Discount. If maybe soon I'll make it back to Lens Discount. And uh, when they have a sale like this or the bag everything for $10, as much as you can for $10. Because they have some pretty good things there. I actually bought this for me and Kenny. It's hands-free lighted magnifier. It was regular twelve ninety nine, three times power. And I believe I already gave him his. And I need to keep this close by. It actually says it hangs comfortably from neck for hands-free reading and hobbies. I didn't realize that. Three times the power. Does it say regular price? Oh, I've been told you. $12.99. Uh, let me see here. Another set. Only this time, it's finger do fingerprint doodles. One set includes instruction book, drawing pad, ink pad, and many felt markers. Eight, just eight and up. So all that's good for my girls. And I don't see a price on it. But it's by Spice Box. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm looking at these. Because when I brought them in here to show you, I really didn't go through it. I just kind of put them out. And then I went and took my shower. Because I had to clean up for being outside. But I think for $2. That's a good deal. Sky Above Earth. Sky above, earth below, peace within. 
had been 1999. It says sky above back white, which tells me that it should light up. And I thought that was a good saying. Sky above, earth below, peace within. And peace within is what we all desire, don't we? So I got that. I only showed these a long time ago, or I showed them with the Omi and, um, I don't think I'm going to get them all out now, but they're called Fresh and Store. There's a dozen in here. A dozen. And they're about pint size. Let me see if it says. Small square. It's a container and lid and removable ice pack. I should have brought one out of the kitchen. But these would be great in gift baskets. Two dollars for twelve. And uh, I think the Dollar Tree at one time had them for a dollar and a quarter. They show at wherever they were from were a dollar. So twelve dollars. I'll say ten dollars. And it's good for people that pack lunches, have kids that like to take snacks that need a little bit of chilling. So, a dozen of those. That's how they sold them. I bought so many of these, and I passed them out and passed them out, and I hang on to this one. Culinary Garden, basil, cilantro, and chives. Complete grow kit. I don't know if Michelle planted hers yet or not, but these make great gifts. When you can find them, fourteen ninety nine regular price for two dollars, and who wouldn't love that? And if you didn't want to grow, even the the brass metal container alone is worth the two dollars. I can see using it in the bathroom with soaps and wash rags and um, makeup, anything in the kitchen wherever you wanted to use it. I dropped something over here, so I better get it for you. Whoa. I got two of these, and I'm not sure why, unless they didn't come with something on them. I think it fell off. Two of these was $2. They're rubber-made containers. I don't know how much they are in the store. They're good size, and I'm thinking I should have had these out using them. At Thanksgiving, I could have put my puddings in them. So these I'm hanging on to, but I have two sets. So one I'm going to gift out and one set I'm going to keep. Because they would make a good thing for my chocolate eclair and my banana puddings when you're taking. Because they're called take alones. Two dollars. And I doubt you could get that any cheaper, even at the Dollar Tree. Let's see what we have here. Remember, everything's two dollars. Toy Story. <laughs> I got that for Eli. It's a men's shirt. Yeah, it's a men's shirt. He loved Toy Story growing up. And it's in one of his favorite colors, blue. I forgot about that. So that'll go in his package of uh, stuff that he's getting on shirts and stuff. Let's see what this one says. Be somebody who makes everybody feel like a somebody. This is also for Eli. $2. I was going to see if it had, it's by Tultex. Tultex. T-U-L, text. Let me see what this one's by. Toy Story. <laughs> I should have known that. This one is an extra big size. Regular $19.99. Oh, I didn't show you. <laughs> the Lion King. I got it for $2.00. It'd been $19.99, marked down to five and two dollars. It even has the print on the side. Let me see here. 
Yeah, it's Disney. A Disney long sleeve shirt for $2. Let me see. And it, this was the only size they had. It's a large, but it looks like it's fairly good size. I, I keep forgetting to show you the front. Got that. And when I bought the bag of bag, bag of bag, I bagged it for $10 stuff. I bought a bunch. I say, keep saying a bunch. A lot of uh, T-shirts that were Harry Potter. And it, I think everything averaged like 17 cents a piece when I did that even for the t-shirts. Well, this was before that. It's Harry Potter, regular $21.99. And I gave $2 this day. And this one's already claimed. I keep forgetting to take it or you, would, you wouldn't have seen it if I took it. But for $2. Never watched Harry Potter. I know uh, a friend of mine from work one time loaned me all the Harry Potter uh, audio books to listen to. I, I couldn't even do that. I'm just, that's not, I'm more into the true crime or uh, the detective type shows. Not so much into the supernatural. Not that I've not ever watched any of them. That's my animals. Can you believe that I got... A non-slip rug pad, which is good because I'm decluttering and I hope soon to get my rugs down. They've been in the corners forever. Various sizes, dashboard, carpet, underlay, placemat, doormat. I was trying to see. I'm thinking it's just that you can... Uh, Cut it in size. I'm not even sure how big it is. But for $2, 8 by 11 8 by 11 $2. And I know on Amazon, I have bought these before, and they're a lot more expensive than $2. And I only got one blanket that day. Somebody had a, a, a buggy full of them. And I looked out and I found one. Let's see what it is because I forgot. And I know I, I figured I could either. It must be Japanese. <laughs> I figured we could use it for a throw. I don't know if I would get this particular design. That, well, I know some people that love Japanese food. I could do that. Yeah, I could do that and give them some Japanese noodles. But $2. And it's a good size blanket. I know uh, last night I showed you, and I don't, yeah, I've got a knife in here. I showed y'all some uh, surprise packages, and I said I know that I had at least a couple of more. And I'm pretty sure I didn't know. How about three more? Three more. And like I said, I thought Kenny and I bought two a piece, and I now already gave one. I didn't talk about the one that I showed the cook to Michelle. I'll talk about it later. What are these? Does anybody know what these are? If Kenny was here, I'd ask him. Looks like an A for Angie. <laughs> if you look at it just right. But what are those? Let me see if it's got a... No, it doesn't have anything in it. Whatever it is, it six, says six ton. Oh, what these are... I thought, can I use them? What can I use them for? They kind of look like buildings overseas with the legs. 
no. I don't even know how you would use that. It says six times. So, <laughs> I know this won't be gifted out. I don't even know if my husband knows what that is. I'll have to find out. If I find out, I'll come back and tell you in another video. I'll say I'm answering a question. <laughs> it's my question. It may be yours. Let me see. what these are. It says extra large. What are they? I'm sorry. I don't know what this is. A cold shoulder. Now that I might wear. Look. No, I didn't order these. These came in something. That was a return. I tell you it's a return. Let's see what else was in it. It's in two bags. And this was by www.lapa.com. This looks like purple. I wonder if it's the same thing. I think about getting clothes in these. Ah, I got a purple one. Look at that. Real thin, but for around the house, I'll have to try it on. I may keep at least one of them. I might get one of them out. And I don't know if that the company is the brand name or not. Hmm. Says it's made in China. Wash dark colors separately. That's about all it says. It doesn't have much information on it. Two dollars for two. Two tops. That's a good deal. Wonder what's in here. It's another uh, return. And it's from Amazon originally, so let's see what this is. Sent? Y'all are gonna laugh. I don't know if I can, I'm sure we can make it work at the house, but a while back I did a video where I was hunting for flagpoles. And, uh, I wanted up getting one at Walmart, a metal one. This one says it's two-piece sta seamless sta steel flagpole rail mount boat. It's a boat, a boat flag mount. Is that, is it? I don't know how those work. There's two in a pack. Or, I don't know. I'm stumped again, people. Can I use these around the house? Maybe it's two of them. Looks like. Maybe figure out something to use these for. That's for $2. That's a grab bag. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I made some sense and lens. I'm sorry I called you Lily to start with. I knew it didn't sound right. Um, but that's how I've been shopping more. Uh, like I said, in December, you're not going to see as much in groceries. I know this is December 15th today. 10 days to Christmas. 10 days to Christmas. That's why I wanted to get this these items out, but, uh, I hope today y'all had a good day. I've been piddling around here on my own, me and Lexi and the cats for a while, trying to get a few things done, and I thought, I need to get this video out. I appreciate each and every one of you, 
And until next time, we'll talk soon.